you just tie a wire. You, you send a wire through, you twist, send a wire through, and you twist, send a wire through, and you twist, send a wire through. It's a special tool. I have the tool. I don't have it out here with me, but I do have the tool. Um, so the hat, the rotor. Um, these are these uh, rotors are. You, when you wear them out, you get them down from to, from spec. You can get them replaced. They're not that expensive, I don't think. Well, they run about two fifty, two thirty, somewhere around at two sixty for a rotor. Uh, so that's the front kit there. That is. Let's see if I can get this back in the car. Messing something up. If my mama was living, and she was living with. She, if I was at home in her house, she'd be like, "Get that shit off my table." But anyway, that's the, uh, again, this is the front kit, rotor, cap, spindle, I'm excuse me, uh, caliber, caliber brackets, pads, bolts, and some instructions. Put that back in there like that. I think this kit ran me. I think this kit ran me like fifteen hundred bucks. Of course, I'm retired military, so I got a military discount from Jigs. So I got it. I think it's a little over fifteen hundred, a little over sixteen hundred. I got it. I got it for fifteen hundred. They, they only give you ten percent off, which is better than better than nothing. So that was the front kit. So let's make some room here. All right, we're going to go on to the rear kit. Rear kit is similar. The only thing different between the rear kit, kit excuse me, that is smaller. Instead of being a 14 inch rotor, it's a 13 inch rotor. Instead of being a six piston caliber, it's a four piston caliber. If you can see there, there's the part number 1401093. And, and this kit again is from, I tell you boy, they, they must got a gang of stickers. So they put stickers in everything. Once you get one or two of them, you don't need no more, but again, now this kit right here says it a little bit different. If, I don't know if you guys can see that. If you can see that, 1963 through 87. Now my truck, like I said, is a 60 through um, 62, which has got torsion bars. I took all that messed off and I put an 80 model stuff underneath. That, that's just why I can run. Um, well, that's the front. I'm sorry, this is actually the rear. What I did with the rear, um, my rear end had um, six lugs. So what I did, I I took a, a rear end from a 1972 C10, which comes with five lugs, and I changed the uh, I took the housing, had it powder coated, cleaned up, powder coated, and I changed the guts in the rear end. I went with 373 posi. Um, I went with a, I went with a pause and I went with 373 gears um, and I got new axles I got Mojo axles in there um, the gears I'm running um, the gears are Richmond gears but the posse is a Yukon posse um, I think all of them are the same you have the Yukon you have Eaton you have Auburn Eaton and Auburn is a little bit more than the Yukon I mean they all patent and got their own ways. I think that the Eaton has the worm drive and the uh, Auburn has its own setup. But I just went with the Yukon because I'm familiar with them. Um, I did have Eaton back in the day. It's just overpriced. It's overpriced. So the gears, that's Richmond gears, which is okay. 
Richmond is leading in the gears, so I stuck with Richmond gears is what I know. But um, I did redo the rear end, so I got do I got Mosul axles. So, but that rear end that I got is from a '72. It come with five lugs. This it came with five lugs, not this, but it came with drums, but with five lugs. So I didn't have to, you know, you can mix and match from them C10s. But there's there's a part number I gave you, and again, this is from '63 to '87. Kit. You get a spacer in there because sometimes you need to space the caliber out from the bracket because uh, your rotor, you need to center your rotor inside the caliber and this is one of the spacers that you use. Believe it or not, they, these come in different sizes but they give you these. You can order them in different sizes. So what I did on my, on my Caprice when I put the Corvette brakes on my Caprice, which is Woolwood, I had to actually, I had to actually, uh, shave one of these down. I had to shave shave them down to center my rotor inside the caliber because you got to center the rotor in the caliber. So I had to shave one down. I didn't order another. I just took the one I had and shaved it down and I centered it. It was good to go. And when I did that, when I shaved it down, the bolts were too long so I had to cut my bolts. But it worked fine. Again, the same way as the front. It comes with the bolts with the, that you tie a uh, wire the bolts together to keep that rotor hat from coming off so I am going to do that I didn't do it for the 83 like I said but I plan on you know putting some power in this truck so I want to be able to make sure everything is safe, safe in it that's the bolt kit it goes with the rear setup what we in we in 30 minutes already well it is what it is okay Again, just like the front, if I said rear earlier, just like the front, you get the brackets with the studs, slides on the caliber, you bolt these to the, uh, to the uh, emergency brakes, I'm going to show you this in the kit. They're pretty easy to put on, you got shims for spacing, also with this and the bolts. Let me go ahead and show you guys the emergency brake setup. Here's the emergency brake setup. It comes with the rear kit. This bolts to your flange on your rear end. Now, I'm not real 100% positive. I know it won't work with my truck because my truck is a 60. And this kit is set up for a 63. Um, and then I, I hadn't did any research on it, but the emergency brake cable, mine is a 60. I don't know if it'll work with this setup, but it will work from 63 to 87 so you don't have to change any of your um, your emergency brake cable um, to in my 80 in my box I didn't even use this part because I got an automatic transmission so once you put it in part what do you need emergency brake for so I just made more room for my foot I took the emergency brake stuff out of my box and also in my 83 Chevrolet C10 I took the emergency I just that's not hooked up I got an automatic transmission I took the emergency brake pad out. It gave me more room. Gave me more room to put a put a Cincinnati tweeter down there. So I got rid of all that. You don't need it. I didn't. I don't think you need it because I put my car in park. I don't park on hills. So, but that's where I'm at. I didn't. But the difference between those two bills and this bill is I got a six-speed manual transmission. I definitely need to have my emergency brake hooked up for the C10 because I got a manual transmission. So I'm gonna need it. So I gotta figure out if this is gonna work on my truck. But that's nothing. I figured out either either I can use a 63 setup because it's basically the same. Basically the same. I don't know if it's the same, but so I'll I'll get it from a 63. But that's emergency brakes. These are replaceable when they wear out from Willwood. I don't know if you can go to a parts store and get it. So you have to get it from Willwood Park, I imagine. Um but that is for the emergency brake. Like I said, this bolts up to your flange on your truck, on your rear end. And it's, after that, it's easy to assemble. This setup is pretty easy, man. It's, you, don't, you don't even need to have a lot of mechanical skills to even put this kit on the truck. 
again, these pads, I'm thinking they're exactly the same as the front. I mean, why would it change? Because they basically are similar when it comes to the size of the rotor. I think the front's a 14 and the rear's a 13. So they, uh, there, is some, there is some difference um, with the caliber, but I think the pads are the same. I think they are the same. Let's see here. What are, the numbers are a little bit different, but they look similar. They do look similar. Make sure I ain't mixing them up. Ugh. Again, I don't know if these things are ceramic coated or not. I'm not familiar. I'm, I'm not real sure what ceramic coated looks like, but I think they may be though. If not, I know Will would sell them. I'm pretty sure they're not going to put their best uh, performance pad in a kit. I make you get them separate. All right, here's a, here's a caliper. Again, I give your ass more stickers, more than you need. More than you need. I guess the reason why they do that is because you can actually buy this stuff individually. You don't have to get it as a kit. So I guess they put those uh, stickers in that thing. All right. Here's the rear caliber. If you can see, powder coated black too. The shiny, the shiny. I think you can get this black and dull. And I, I think you can only get black and dull. But the rest of them you can get gloss. This is a four piston.